Enzo Gracie. He's also one of the greatest coaches and athletes of all time in martial arts. The Joe Rogan experience. Here it is, here's Enzo. He flattens him out and then here it comes. Boom, boom, Ooh. boom. Ladies and gentlemen, for your winner, Enzo Gracie! Okay, Henzo, first of all, it's an honor to be able to have this conversation with you at your school in New York City. Tell us a little bit about how long have you now been training in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? It's a pleasure to be here with you guys. I began training when I was five years old, but in reality, I'm 55 now. I realize now that I actually began training before that, because every time my father played with me, he was playing with Jiu-Jitsu. He was showing me the moves, he was putting me on his back, putting the hooks on, how to hold the neck. So I actually probably begun at two and a half, three years old. Can you explain like how do you get the infant, the way that you hold them and you 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 interlock their fingers? Can you talk about this? The, the whole the whole deal with, with kids is you have to make them fall in love. It has to be like a play. You have to you have to bring it to him like it's a natural thing and it's like almost like he's in a kindergarten having fun. He's in a park. So once you're able to make him feel comfortable with that, he always wants to come back. He always wants to do it. It's like, uh, I, was a, I was a very good professional surfer. And I remember he got to an age and said, no, 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 I'm going to be able to touch more souls if I become a professional fighter than actually a professional surfer. And I wasn't wrong, you know, like to see how Jiu-Jitsu grew today and how special Jiu-Jitsu became in people's lives, I realized that I made the right choice. Okay, you mentioned that you're 55 years old, so you've been training in jiu-jitsu for a half a century. That's a long time. How has jiu-jitsu changed since Carlos Gracie and, and Elio Gracie perfected it? Jiu-jitsu is in a constant evolution. It never stops. Next week will be better. People will fix the problem. That's why I'm very guided towards putting the knowledge out. I, my whole work and my whole life, I want to spread knowledge because it's amazing how when you put Jiu-Jitsu out, when you teach Jiu-Jitsu to others, he always comes back to you new questions, new ways of doing, new new ways of Jiu-Jitsu adapting to certain bodies, to tall guys, short guys, fat guys, skinny guys, you know? And uh, it's, it's amazing, like, when you actually throw Jiu-Jitsu out there, what you get. And I was very fortunate to believe on that, since I learned from Hollis. Hollis always had that, the, the, the point of view which spread in the art, and he wasn't wrong. You know, the feedback that I have, today I go to inside my school, I have the same feeling that I had when I went to Harvard to, to, to do a, a lecture about business. And I actually, I saw my academy inside the Harvard campus. I think that's why my academy is so successful. It's because I was able to reach the level of an Ivy League school. When you were young, who were your idols? Who was your, your superheroes? Who, who inspired you to do more, be more, and achieve more? I was very lucky. I always liked cartoons. Hmm. So when I was a kid, I loved Batman. I loved Iron Man. I loved Superman. Until the day that I met my relatives, my older <laughs> relatives, who actually hold the black belt in Jiu-Jitsu. And I, I met the, the, the real heroes in my life. And they inspired me, my grandfather, my father, my uncles, my cousins, my nephews, the one that learned under me, those are the heroes of my life, you know? And I was very fortunate to share knowledge and share sweat and met time with them. Specifically, your family, who who inspired you when you were younger in your family? Hollis was one of the greatest teachers I ever, I ever met. Hollis was unique on his way of seeing Jiu-Jitsu. He believes that knowledge should be adapted to Jiu-Jitsu. So he was a black belt in Judo. He was a very good sumo fighter. He was a very good wrestler. And he adapted and he brought all that knowledge to Jiu-Jitsu. He was exactly the, 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 the turning point of Jiu-Jitsu really becoming what Jiu-Jitsu should be, you know? And uh, he was the inspiration for him, some Hoyer and all those others who came after him, you know? I was lucky to have my teacher, Carlos Gracie Jr., he was one of his top students to teach me and train me for my whole life. So it was unbelievable. I trained with the Hollis until he died. I was 14 years old. And I and Carlos, Carlos Gracie Jr. took over the academy. Today he's the president of IBJJF. And he was able to push me to become 
a great pitcher, a great fighter, and a better person. And Gracie is leaning through the ropes there. Gracie wants that guillotine, and he does have a wicked one. Pat may be in, Pat may be in trouble here. Pat just tapped out. Pat, 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 Pat. What is jiu-jitsu? Please tell me and our audience, what is jiu-jitsu and what does it mean? Jiu-jitsu has only one definition. The best tool to forge cat. best tool to forge confidence. The best tool to forge an amazing human being. I believe any, like Kenny Slater said once, every father should sign up the kids in jiu-jitsu before they do any other sports. That will change their future. That will make them better in whatever decision they have and whatever path they choose to follow on their lifetime. So Jiu-Jitsu is an amazing tool to change destiny, to change confidence, to change future. How does Jiu-Jitsu create character, confidence, respect? Explain how does it form that? To begin with, you depend on your partner to help you train. Mm -hmm. You can never do it by yourself. So you, can, you cannot be a lonely guy. You're going to have friends. You're going to have guys that will become your brothers throughout the lifetime of training. They're going to sweat with you. They're going to put the effort with you. You're going to look to make him better. So you can get better at the same time. And you start realizing that by changing their life for better, that better is you too. You know, and this would be the perfect model for the world to follow. So it's one amazing tool to build confidence. You stop the fear of touching people, of hugging people, of being honest. And let me tell you one thing. When I lie in my life, I lie only to protect the person that I'm torturing, not because I'm afraid of anything. So this changes everything. This changes your way of being. This makes you a better human being. That, that makes you a man. In reality, Jiu-Jitsu will show it who you are. If you are a coward, it's gonna show it. <laughs> if you are a brave man, if you are a violent man, if you are a man who share with your brothers, it's gonna show it. So you can't hide who you are here. Even if you don't fulfill all those high standards, that we expect from a great human being, we will drag you. We will only look down on you to pull you up to stay next to us. That's the difference. That's who you, we are. And that's what Jiu-Jitsu does. Explain how it's like chess and decisions. A lot of people compare Jiu-Jitsu to chess, and it's a, it's a true thing, you know? And it's a funny thing because I don't play chess very often, but when I play, I'm very good at it. You know, I beat people who are very experienced on, on the chess game. And, and the reason is because we don't think just on their move. We think very far ahead. We think it in a connection, in a completely chain of motions, of positions and submissions and ways to win the match. It, it's, it's very common you see a Jiu-Jitsu guy and you think he's losing a match and then suddenly he pulls out a submission. He was actually setting up the trap so the, the mice would stick the neck right in there. You know? It's that's the beauty of Jiu-Jitsu. It is the best game to compare with would be chess for that reason, because you play moves ahead when your head is working in the right jujitsu mindset. Can you talk about that? How jujitsu is a whole ability to be able to engage somebody and end the fight without hurting somebody. So it's not violent unless it needs to be. Most people will believe that jujitsu is a violent thing. MMA is a violent Fighting is what we do. Fighting is what values a man. And the reason is, we all will have to fight. Every time you see a human being walk the street, know that he's fighting a fight. Sometimes you don't know the size of his fight, but for sure he's fighting a fight. And Jiu-Jitsu is the best tool to get you ready for what life is. Life is a fight. People ask, how can I, I'm gonna be 56 soon, and they ask how I don't have a gray hair. Because I expect any piece of life, but not fight. I know I'll have to fight, so this doesn't bother me at all. You know, I embrace that as a way of life. I have no stress. If I have a problem that has no solution, it's already solved. <laughs> it's done. So the reality is Jiu-Jitsu is the best tool to prepare you for life's fighting. And believe me, you see your kid three years old now enjoying life, he will have to fight a lot until he has the chance to see and hold his grandkids. And Jiu-Jitsu is the best tool to get him ready for it. What is that like? Is it pressure? Is it honor? Is it frustration that you have the last name Gracie? It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah. Let me explain one thing to you. There's only one thing 
that turns coal into diamonds. It's called pressure. Mm. I don't have pressure enough. I want more pressure. I actually want to fight again next year. One more fight just for fun. And I know if I win or lose, I don't care. I only real lose if I walk out of that cage or water that ring without having learned something that I can pass to future generations or to my students, my students, so to make them better. That's the only way I could actually lose. But I go in there to learn. So if I win or lose at that age, I don't care. But if I walk out of there without a new knowledge to pass forward to my family, to my to my students, then I really lost. You know, so the reality is Jiu-Jitsu, embrace Jiu-Jitsu as way of life is gonna change your future. It's gonna change your destiny. It's gonna change your future generations in your family. Jiu-Jitsu, it is the best.